good Sunday morning YouTube. Uh, just picked this up. Actually, it was for free. It's the T Max 3.3. A couple years older, probably five years old. It's got the older 2.4 receiver. Um, tried to give my buddy money for it, but he knew we were into the hobby. Me and my uh, eight year old. So you give a like and subscribe. Hasn't ran in a year. He gave me a ton of parts with it. Spare motor, which I think is locked up. But it's still a spare motor. And um, a ton of uh, bags of parts. Two, uh, two chargers for it. You know, the uh, 7.2 volt um, starters. I should say not chargers. And I'm gonna, uh, it's the first time I even looked at it. I didn't take the body shell off it yet. Unfortunately, I had to grab it and run because I had a retirement party to go to. But uh, my next video is gonna be getting this thing to run. But let's see what we got. Pop the uh, body cover off. It looks, it looks a lot like the Stampede body cover. So this one's in pretty good shape. Got body pins. It's in really good shape. It's got a lot of RPM parts on it. Um, I read that a lot of the lines and everything could go bad. And um, some of the, the ducting could crack and stuff like that, the throttle. I've seen some of the servo seize up in another video. That seems free. Down here is the steering servo. That's also free. Um, get a better view, hopefully. Get this in the camera. He ran it. He ran it dry last time he used it, so I'm not sure. I read, saw another YouTuber um, put it rubbing alcohol in the tank to clean the tank out. I would imagine it. That couldn't hurt the lines either, so rubbing alcohol. And this thing is uh, in really nice shape. We got aluminum bottom, we got RPM bottoms, RPM arms, front, back, the uh, back boots are a little dried out. They got some rips in them, but I'm gonna run them until they break, obviously. I don't really care that they rip. The tires are in great shape. Shocks are a little bit soft. He said the um, shock caps blew off, but um, I have a ton of spare shocks from the slash. These really look like the slash shocks. He says it's really soft, doesn't seem to rebound back up again. Um, maybe it's a fluid issue, or maybe the shocks are just shot. They look good. I don't see any oil leaking out of any of them. got this easy start system on here and uh, never had nitro before so I'm gonna give the nitro a whirl I mean it was free uh, give a shout out to my boy Nikki D and uh, he hooked us up I tried to give him money for it but he wasn't having it he said he'd rather um, give it to somebody who enjoyed it and we will definitely enjoy this sucker we just picked up the X-Max, you can see in some of the other videos. I do not have any nitro fuel. I called my local hobby shop. He was fresh out of it. How do you run out of nitro fuel, man? Um, I'll be reading, I'll be looking through some YouTube videos to, um, I don't know how far I want to get in the teardown. I'll probably just do the rubbing alcohol thing, clean everything out, um, charge up those 7.2 volt batteries. I got uh, I got two of those, two of those packs that you stick on there. He gave me two of them. He gave me a bag of parts, spare parts. We got wheelie bars, we got some shocks. He said there was some stuff for the Jado in there. I'm not sure if it's Jado. He gave me a ton of parts, man. Got a whole box, shockwave oil. Um, we got some shockwave oil. Yeah, on off switches, adapters. I don't even know where this goes. He said if I have any questions, I can call him. 
got a, the emergency old school glow plug. I don't even know where the charger is. I don't even know how you charge this stuff. I assume this is the battery. Uh, 1.2 volt. I don't know if the charger is on the tip. But I did get something that looks like it's the charger for it. Which is... Um, 1.5 DC output, 125 milliamp. It's got like a, a nut on there and a thing. I don't know if that goes in there and that's the start or does that charge this? Doesn't feel like it does because it doesn't want to stay in there. Oh, wait a minute. Push it in. Maybe that is the, maybe that does charge it. I'm gonna plug this in. What's the worst that can happen? It could blow up. I don't see a light on on the pack. On the wall. Oh, no, I do see a light on. Anyway, I don't want to burn that out, so I'm not going to mess with it until I know what it does. But we got this bad boy. We got a, looks like a spare starter motor, probably burnt out. This one says Traxxas on it. This one says nothing on it. Um, what else do we got? Spare motor. Feels locked up to me, but maybe a little WD-40 will help it out. I'm trying to turn it over. It just doesn't want to go. Clockwise anyway. Counterclockwise it spins freely, but I assume that's the clutch. Oh, there we go. Clockwise. Maybe I'll pull the glow plug out and see if that's uh, what's salvageable off of this. I'm getting covered in uh, nitro. This is a TRX-15 made in Taiwan, but the spare parts are always good, man. And um, where is my TQI receiver? Oh, it's over here. It's the old school style one, but these look like they're better made than the new ones. Got batteries in there. I really wish I had some nitro film in. I'd love to just give this a try. Um, so there's that, the TQI. Um, we got steering trim on here. And the second one, I don't know, steering trim. And um, dual rate throttle trim on that bad boy. Um, anyway, I got a bag of parts, man. So check out my next video. I'm gonna be trying to get this thing to run. Let's see what I, I have no sense of smell. Yeah, there's some uh, sediment on the bottom of that tank, so I'll definitely be flushing that tank out. I don't smell anything in there, but I'm gonna flush it out because there's definitely a, a little bit of sediment on the bottom. And I don't see an inline filter on this. Just this little um, locking thing, which I assume press that and it cuts off the fuel so fuel cut off filter looks like it's in good shape it's not uh, deteriorated at all the um, this is a rear wheel drive no this is all wheel drive man that's crazy I thought I got a two wheel drive I didn't see it in the pictures this was a four wheel drive T-Max Traxxas T-Max uh, I'm not sure if this is an upgraded motor It says on it, I can't read it, uh, 93, maybe that's, that's not CC's, I don't know what that is, millimeters, but um, everything looks good, man, look at this thing, for free, I told him uh, I'm going to give him one of my electric vehicles for his kid, it's, he's got a girl, he's got two girls and a boy, and he said they're not ready to run yet. He's moving his house. He's um, sold his house and got a new house. And he's just looking to get rid of the stuff. He tried to sell it on let go for a hundred bucks and people are giving him $50 offers on it. And he's like, you know what? I'd rather see you go to a good home. They definitely going to a good home. Spur gear's in good shape. Pinion's in good shape. Um, 
this box over here, let me turn this on, Let's see if I got any lights or anything. No, I don't see any lights. I assume this is where the battery goes. And I did get a charger for that. And I luckily, he didn't give me the 7.2 volt charger for the um, starter, but I had one actually from Boat. It's a old school one that you plug into the wall, you know, trickle style charger, but I got two chargers, so I, I don't even think I need to buy a charger. I got the original 2018 servo for the uh, throttle and brake, and the original 2070 servo for the steering. And he gave me like six additional servos. I could always rebuild them. Just get the servo rebuild kits. I rebuild them. It's so easy. You should do that too. Instead of buying a new one, they're easy enough to rebuild. Motor's got a little bit of. Motor's got some scrapes on it. Looks like it did be flipped, but this looks like plastic. Just a little cosmetic damage. Tires got plenty of grip. I don't see any flat spots on them. This thing's gonna be a lot of fun. We just got the X Max. This thing's gonna make a whole lot of noise. I'm sure my neighbors will love it. <laughs> Sorry, neighbors. But um, some of my neighbors got some pretty obnoxious dirt bikes and stuff, so can't complain. The uh, muffler, original Traxxas muffler. Um, I assume this is the receiver in this box. It's got a clip on it. I'm not gonna get into too much stuff, but I just wanted to give you an overall um, picture of this bad boy. Back here is that uh, charger, the uh, starter, I should say. But I think this thing's ready to run. He said it land. He, he ran it last year and it ran out of fuel and he ran it dry. There's definitely some uh, sediment in that tank I want to clean out. I don't want to be running that through the uh, that cute little baby carburetor. That opens and closes with these. This way, I assume it's a brake. It's a two speed, he said. And this is the T Max. Never had any nitro powered stuff before, but I'm definitely looking forward to making some noise. Alright, man. Thanks for watching my video. If you like it, subscribe, give a thumbs up. We appreciate it. And, uh,. My eight-year-old son, really, he asks me every day, anybody subscribe to our channel, Daddy? Um, nah, a couple people have subscribed, which is cool. You know, if you're passing by the video, just give it a like. It's not that hard. Just like button. You don't even have to subscribe. But I'll be posting the videos for weekly or at least bi-weekly. Um, we're going to set up, I'm definitely going to make a jump for the X-Max. I, I want to try to get at least 15 feet out of it instead of, We've only jumped the X Max like five, ten feet, and uh, we're gonna get some bigger jumps on it. I think this thing's capable of bigger jumps. But uh, all right, man. Thanks for watching. Like I said, if you could like and subscribe, that would be awesome.